Okay. Okay, so good afternoon. And uh, this is Jopin Xin from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And uh, my, I'm very happy to chair this afternoon's uh, Asia and Pacific Analysis and PDE seminar. And we are very happy to, uh, to invite Professor Wei Xi Li from Wuhan University to give us a talk. Let me say a few words about Professor Wei Xi Li. Professor Wei Xi Li is, uh, I got his PhD in 2008 from Wuhan University. And then he went to Paris 6 and also University of Bogona to do his postdoctoral uh, studies. And then he moved back to Wuhan University and then became a lecturer and then associate professor and then full professor in uh, 2014. And now he's a full professor at, at Wuhan University. Uh, professor Lee is an expert on nonlinear partial differential equations in particular in Boltzmann equation and boundary layer equations. Today, he's going to give a talk on Jewelry well poisonings of the three-dimensional parental equations without a structural assumption. Uh, Vishy, please. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, thank you very much. First, I would uh, like to thank the organizers uh, for the kind of invitation. And thanks uh, for the introduction of Professor Zhou Pingxin. And I'm very glad to talk about uh, my this this work on the three-dimensional quantum equation here with, without any such uh, assumption. Uh, this is joint work with Nida uh, Masmudi and Tonya. Oh, sorry. Okay. First, I build some uh, background and motivation. So in Fluid uh, dynamics, one of um, the fundamental problem is to ask the investing limit. So given the, suppose the epsilon is the sort of the lowest stock equation with the very small, uh, with costly coefficient epsilon. So uh, the Darwinian free condition stand for the uh, incompressible flow. So when epsilon, goes, uh, when epsilon goes zero, we expect the solution of a lowest stock equation goes to the solution to an uh, Euler equation. So this is, uh, I think this is where studied uh, if there's no boundary, for example, there's uh, the whole space or torus. So they, I think there are many, uh, it's very developed, but the situation is uh, more uh, complicated if there's a physical boundary. So, and I think uh, much less is known in fact, there's still uh, tiny problems on this uh, issue. So, what's up? Uh, for example, I just think about the the flow domain is the half space. So the so the for the for the large stock equation, we only impose the non semi boundary condition. That means all the component of the velocity vanishes on the boundary. But for Euler, only the uh, normal component vanishes on the boundary. So there is a mismatch the boundary condition for between Navi stocks and the Euler. Okay, to overcome this uh, uh, phenomena, so, uh, a boundary uh, layer uh, appears. Uh, to, uh, in fact, to inside the boundary layer, the velocity adjusts very fast from zero to non-zero. So this is the uh, uh, postulate there's often an uh, informal statement is can see the lowest dose solution uh, can be approximated by, also, uh, by Euler outside the boundary layer. Meanwhile, inside the boundary layer is approximated by the so-called Prandtl equation. But how to, uh, how to verify this uh, expansion of lowest stocks by Euler and Prandtl in mathematically is uh, very difficult. And I, I'm not focused on this issue, uh, just as if uh, some uh, resistant progress on this uh, topic. Uh, for some Tino Kavlich, Jihawa He, and, uh, and, many, uh, and also some Chinese group, and also the uh, Xin uh, the chair of the talk. Uh, today I'll talk about the, uh, the, the weird ponies of the Pronto equation. This is a, a preliminary step for the limit, limit. 
uh, to derive the bottom layer equation, just follow the prompt answers. I uh, just for, uh, for example, for uh, two dimension case. So this is expansion of the velocity. Here we introduce the fast normal variable, my theta, this is just why divided by the square root of the epsilon. Epsilon is just the viscosity coefficient. So you input, put the, the expansion into the uh, Lowry Stokes equation and uh, compare the uh, order of epsilon. So the, the need order, so the order uh, is, the, uh, is the equation, is the equation, prompt equation. That you be, will be searched by the prompt equation and far from the boundary. So it, uh, it's the, described by the Euler equation, this is zero, v0, zero, p0, zero, such by the Euler fun function, incompatible Euler function. So uh, the, the governing equation for UB, UB uh, can be uh, read uh, as follows. So here we write the y theta for, uh, for, for uh, we write y, uh, we write y for y theta. So this is a, uh, uh, here, the y stands for the fast, uh, fast the normal variable. So this is the uh, evolution. Uh, equation for the uh, tangential velocity uh, u, but we don't have the evolution equation for the uh, normal uh, component v. So this is different from Navier Stokes equation. But here, uh, 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 you, uh, the pressure and the capital U is a, a given function. In fact, it's just a, a, the trace of the p0 and the trace of the uh, u0. So this is a given function. And uh, in fact, also this is in fact this is the scalar equation because we can uh, use the dynamic free condition and the boundary condition to write the uh, expression of a way. So this is uh, just the equation of u in terms of the u. So this is uh, the two dimension and the three dimension also, also can derive similarly. So we have the normal, uh, normal velocity uh, w and also tangential velocity u and uh, v. So this is a system. So the uh, for the tangential velocity, also a W free condition and the boundary condition uh, for, uh, for behavior at the infinity, initial data. So what's the uh, main difficulty for the study of uh, parameter equation? Uh, this is just a loss, uh, loss of uh, directives uh, coupled with the non local property, perhaps uh, look, just look at the uh, normal velocity v, you can write in the, the integral of the dx u. So this is non local terms. And for these terms, we have lost uh, one other uh, tangential derivatives because we, we don't have the diffusion in, in x, we only have a diffusion in y. So this is a degenerate parabolic equation, but it's non local terms, non local. This is for, uh, for two dimension. And uh, for three dimension, it's more uh, uh, complicated. We have two, uh, two uh, equations and the loss of derivatives occurs in the uh, first component and the second component. So the, the, uh, so the W also, W is, can be derived from the W free condition and the boundary condition. So there's those, also those tangential derivatives since we have, only have normal diffusion dz square. So I, next, I just record uh, uh, some very possible uh, theory. In fact, uh, the, there are many, uh, many two settings. One setting is the sub-def space. And here, we, uh, this is just the for, uh, have some constant on the two dimension case and under some organic amelotonicity uh, condition that is the dyu, the vorticity is non-zero. So you use this, the, you, this is the velocity, monotonicity condition it has can some, uh, some cancellation law in fact this. So the first, uh, the, maybe the local, local in time solution uh, was initiated by Olympic many, many years ago, 20 years ago. But at this time, uh, two groups, Alexander, uh, Ya Guangwang, Cao Jiangxu and Tong Yang, and a lot of group, um, Masmodi and the Guang Wang, they proved in, in independently, uh, give a new proof based on some energy method. In fact, they, they observed some new cancellation based on the only 
monotonicity condition. So this local solution and uh, for the global time, so in time solution, which is for to the classical work of Li Qingzhang and Zhu Pingxin, is, uh, who, uh, who is here. Oh, this is two, uh, two dimension case, but uh, for the uh, for the three dimension counter uh, part, there are less, uh, there's only a few works. I just mentioned the, the work of Chen Jianyu, Ya Guangwang, and Tong Yang. They have some constraints. That means the second continuous flow is uh, parallel to the first one. So that in this case, uh, just that means the second flow doesn't appear in the equation in the system. So they, they reduce the uh, system to the uh, to the scalar equation to the two dimensional case. Just to uh, can be treated in this case, we can just can be treated the U. This is uh, uh, can be followed by the two dimension case. And also, uh, this, this is a very strong. I think this is a string, uh, strong uh, uh, constraint. And another one is a weak solution due to Xin uh, Luo, Tian Wen Luo, and Zhou Pingxin. And uh, our, our of uh, more, more, uh, the aforementioned works are local solution. And so far, the, for the global in time solution, is still remains open. Uh, this is sub level uh, setting. And uh, another setting is about the, for the uh, general data that means we don't uh, we don't uh, impose any structure uh, uh, assumption. So this is uh, the electric uh, general uh, setting. First, I just give a, a definition of the general uh, function space. So uh, give a, for a general function of f, f uh, of x. So we see f is electric. Is, that means it's a Taylor expansion. Convergence for generally we just adjust the uh, the definition. That means the uh, Taylor type of, uh, expansion or convergence. But here, uh, the the power of the factory is sigma uh, rather than one. If the sigma is is one, it's just a logic function. Here we just uh, sigma usually is bigger than one. So this is called the if this uh, series is if this series convergence, we see that this function f is uh, of is of a Jeffrey class. So, uh, so the Jeffrey class is some uh, some kind of uh, intermediate space between electric space and uh, uh, say infinity smooth uh, uh, space. So, uh, for general into data without any uh, structure assumption, so the they have some uh, first they have some uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, year post is uh, right for the uh, uh, Pando equation. This took uh, first Jihawa uh, He. And Domi uh, studied two dimensional linearized Pronto equation operator. This is it proved that the, the, the Pronto uh, uh, equation is year post in the Jeffrey space, uh, provided that the Jeffrey index is bigger than two. And the three, uh, and the three dimension case is treated by Chen Jianyu, Ya Guangwang, and Tong Yang. So they, uh, this uh, works suggests that the the critical uh, Jerry space should be uh, Jerry two. That means uh, if the Jerry index is bigger than two, it is it's a uh, year post. And uh, if the Jerry index is bigger, is smaller than one, is smaller than two, it should be year post. And uh, uh, the first uh, for electric space, uh, which since we lose, uh, I think uh, since we lose one order directives, so a uh, electric space should be a little space to, for the treatment of the real postmates. So there's uh, Samantino and the Cavanici. They prove the uh, two and three dimension case. Uh, the equation is uh, real post in electric space. Uh, but how to uh, relax the, uh, the, the function space to a space, it takes a long time. So this turn is it solved by the uh, director of Jihawa Hui. They, they indeed, they prove that the two dimension plant, uh, equation is uh, real post, provided the Jeffrey index is smaller than two. And uh, here in this, in this talk, I will talk about the three uh, dimension case. So this is gives the answer to the where uh, where post is for the plant equation without any such assumption. And also I mentioned, finally, I also mentioned some uh, some works on the. Global uh, in time solutions. This is just uh, due to the group of Pinzhang 
uh, backward pin down, uh, uh, pin down, we prove the, the two dimension, uh, two D parameter equation is uh, uh, global uh, existence for small, uh, for small initial data, analytic, that is analytic. And then uh, this, this year, uh, issue one and the top one, pin down, we relax uh, the, to the relative is to general space with zero index is two. So, but uh, this is to this two works uh, only treat the uh, uh, two dimension parameter, but uh, the, how about the three dimension? It uh, is uh, it's open so far. Okay, uh, so, so that, that's the so the algorithm is that. So this is the three, uh, three dimension uh, Planck equation. So this is the convention terms and for the this Darwin free condition and the uh, boundary condition. Also, uh, we just, we can write the uh, omega in terms of the dxu and the dy, dyv of the integral of these two terms with respect to the normal variable. And this is sim uh, simplified the parameter equation. We, we, we just suppose auto flow is constant. So uh, the, pr the, the pressure is uh, vanished. Uh, I think the, the for the general, general uh, out of, out of, uh, general auto flow, it can be treated in a similar, similar way, but the, maybe we just change the weight function. Here we, 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 here we studied uh, in the polynormal de decay, but uh, if you change, if it's for the general uh, auto flow, maybe it, it, I think it, it, it also works if we replace the polynormal decay by the exponential decay. So the, here's the assumption from the initial data we suppose uh, the x u uh, zero will belong to some general space. This is some 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 kind of partial general space. That means uh, 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 we only suppose the functions is general in tangential variable x and y, and uh, for the normal variable, we suppose it belongs to the uh, sublevel space, since the order of the normal derivatives is uh, only is uh, up to only up to five, and the four, uh, so this is uh, only analytic generally uh, so in x and y. So here, uh, here are some weight, weight function. That means this weight function says that uh, the this velocity is decays uh, polynomially at infinity. And uh, so there's a you mean there's a matter there's a matter of, this is a technical assumption. You only the unit assumption is, is alpha minus j alpha minus j log. Uh, here we so there's a Minus seven is just the uh, technical assumption because we have treated so we have we have to treat uh, hundred uh, nonlinear problems, so you lose some some kind of derivatives. So this is technical, but it's not important because since uh, the generic function are only unconsidered with the the infinite uh, series, the finite uh, finite series is okay. So this is the uh, main art. This is if the initial data belong to the Jewish space with the Jewish index is smaller than two and satisfy some uh, compatibility condition. Then the product equation also uh, have a unique solution. And of course, it's a local solution in the same, same in the same Jewish uh, space. But uh, here, I just, uh, sorry. here the zone stand for the, the radius of the convergent. So, so for, uh, for, the, for the solution, the radiance of the convergence is be, uh, become smaller compared with the initial data. This, this, this is reasonable because we have to overcome the loss of derivatives. So I um, finally give some, I give a methodology. First, uh, uh, this is a very simple, uh, just to, to keep uh, key in, in written. One is the cancellation mechanisms, and another one is the abstract Cauchy Collier scale theory. So uh, first, I can I I I, I give the intrinsic. That's by intrinsic uh, cancellation. That means we don't impose any uh, structure assumption on initial data. Of course, there are some also uh, cancellation law for the for the. Monotonous uh, condition. That means uh, if you if the uh, initial data satisfies some monotonous condition, you, ha you also have some condition. No. So this is uh, for, uh, first as required uh, main difficulty for the for studying a uh, equation. So if you uh, take the direct dx 
to the Planck equation. So uh, if the x is uh, relatively taken on the non-local terms way, so this is uh, the, red, the, the red, red color terms, and then we lose one order directives, tensional directives, because uh, we, this, uh, this is something of a second order of direct dx. So the, we lose directives. So this is uh, to, uh, how to usually we, we want to uh, calculate this this uh, these terms. And this uh, so it, uh, to or, uh, to cancel this one these terms, we introduce the auxiliary function. In fact, this we in, this uh, is this kind of auxiliary function is uh, inspired by the the uh, earlier work of a director and the Jiawahi and. Uh, uh, of course, it, it, the the oxidative function is a little different from the from the from the from the, uh, from, uh, from the one in the paper of Jiawahi. Uh, so we suppose the uh, the integral of the u uh, through the this equation. The, uh, this is a this is a linear Planck operator. So you you know, those the first term have the, this the, this the best term was term dx we. So they, they share the same term on the, on the source term. Uh, of course, this is this is a, this is a parabolic equation. We can we can solve it. It's, it's, in fact, it is existent for the solution. But we can't. Uh, but in fact, we can't counter. We can't uh, uh, treat these this terms directly because for the, this in this equation, we also lose uh, one derivatives in due to uh, absent. Uh, parent of this uh, dx way. So next, so this is uh, the ox fun auxiliary function have the source term dx way. Uh, this is a Planck equation after taking dx. We have also the, the worst term dx way. So next we perform the cancellation. Uh, it's very simple, just uh, multiply the first equation by the factor dy, dy u and then uh, subtract one by, uh, by another one, so we get this uh, the evolution for lambda. This is the dx u minus this uh, uh, this factor of this equation, and multiplied by this factor. So in this uh, this for the evolution of lambda, this better terms uh, disappear, uh, disappear. So this is roughly speaking, we can we see lambda is uh, some behaviors like the the first order of uh, u. So this is the first order dx u. So in the in the evolution of lambda, so the red, uh, here uh, L -O T stands for the lower order terms. So that means the uh, order terms uh, is uh, at the most is the order of the this the terms is up, up at the most uh, one order. So we don't have the we don't know the tensional derivatives in the evolution equation lambda. So we can. In this, we can perform the estimate for lambda to get the estimate of lambda. But uh, uh, but uh, but how to get the how to get but uh, so of course we have to get uh, we, our goal is to get the estimate on dxu. So if we only so far we only get the estimate on lambda. So in, in order to get the, your uh, to uh, to get the estimate of dxu from the expression, so we need to. Uh, to estimate the, have some estimate on the integral terms of u, but as, of course we don't we can't uh, perform estimate for u because we, have, we still have those derivatives in the equation of u of the integral. Instead, we have fact that we just uh, perform estimate for capital U. Oh, so okay, okay. Uh, I just forget to mention this. Uh, here is a two dimension case. I just uh, for to clar clarify our uh, argument, we uh, focus on the two dimension case, and for three dimension case, uh, it can be treated in the same way, just to modify the argument slightly. I think. So this two dimension case. So next we want to estimate uh, uh, capital U. So they, to uh, to uh, for this purpose, we need the a lot a lot of technique, the so called the abstract. Uh, uh, scale theory. So this is a model. Just uh, just to see a model, a toy model. So this is a vector. H is the vector 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 value the function. This is a Cauchy problem with initial data x h zero. So on the right side, so uh, we 
this uh, is it, of, of course F is maybe more general support with lots of um, generality which suppose F is uh, uh, res the source term is some kind of the uh, linear combination of the dx u h. So on the right side, uh, when those when all the directives for uh, x. So uh, for this equation, if uh, if the f is a uh, the source term is a linear uh, compilation of dx h, so we can perform uh, as a key estimate like this the following terms. So the modulus uh, norm is then for the elliptic norm is uh, defined as follows. It's just a standard um, norm of the elliptic function. So this is the key factoring. So those stand for the uh, radians of uh, convergence. So let's take a direct use. Of course, some uh, there are many uh, equivalent uh, definition of the uh, elliptic norms. Sometimes uh, you can replace the L2 norms by L infinity. But uh, here we, we want to perform, uh, perform some kind of energy estimates. So we use uh, prefer the L2 estimate, L2 norms. So uh, it so it just takes uh, take the take the derivative dxk. Then that, so on that side we have dxk plus one h. Then uh, just take the inner product with dxk. So uh, then after uh, that take the integral over uh, zero to t. We have this one. So uh, on the this term just uh, to overcome the uh, dx plus this term just to overcome dx plus k plus one f, f of h. So this is just some kind of the uh, uh, quick classic classic theory. That means uh, you can cancel the uh, higher order by the lower order, but uh, you lose the radians of the convergence. So the important thing here is that the theta, the theta is, is strictly bigger than zero. So this is a, this is a key point. That means you lose, you lose the radians. Once you have this, uh, uh, this type estimate, you can use the iteration to construct the solu uh, local solution of these uh, cosy problems. So that means if the initial data belongs to some elliptic function, then the, the, this one, this, this cosy problems have a unique solution. Of course, it's a local solution, with uh, but the radius is smaller, maybe it becomes smaller. This is the ACK theory. And uh, how about the, so uh, in, in this case, uh, uh, in fact, in our case for to, to estimate U, we need a, a general case. That means we did some ACK theory for Jewelry class. That means we as, uh, also uh, change the model a little. That means in this elliptic case, this is DT. And here we have DT square. And the right side is the same as, be as before. That means this linear compilation of dxh. We also have the initial data. For this system, uh, we also have we can also uh, derive the uh, following estimate. So the similar as the before, but here we have some we have introduced some orchestrated function. Then this b b is the vector. That means b is something. Uh, uh, b is the vector of. Uh, 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 so sorry, I uh, yeah, here. It's the weight of uh, b is uh, h and the dth. So uh, we can uh, perform the estimate in this one. But here we can replace the the Jewelry elliptic norms by the Jewelry norm with the Jewelry index is equal to two. And I also have a so this is this term stand for some. For this, just uh, mention this is k. The other, the direct out, direct order is k. For this one, it's some kind of uh, the order is k plus one. But you you mean notice that there is a extra factor before here. Is there an extra? That means uh, so this for this function, we only lose the one half directives, not larger than one other directives. So once you have put, you have this estimate, so we can use repeat the argument for a for ACK theory for electric space to conclude the system have a unique solution in Jerry space with the Jerry index is bigger is uh, two. Okay, I just give a, a very, very uh, short proof for the idea for the for, for this one for this system too. 
So we, we just uh, we, uh, introduced a new vector that means the DTH. So we, we can rewrite the orange system as, uh, as uh, one order system like this. It's a DT. The both system is uh, the order of T is, uh, is one, not two. So this is just this for, for this one. Just think about the the, the KC. If uh, so, for this one, those are those directives, and for this system, are, we also lose directives. But if you think about the uh, consider KC behaviors as the fraction 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 order of H, that means this uh, is just a half order directives of H. So in this one, so this is the one order directives. So this is the one half derivatives. So for the first system, for the first system, we lose one half derivatives. And for the second one, since H, uh, so uh, this is uh, this H and uh, this is, this is uh, one half derivative of H. So for this one, for this uh, for the second system, it also look with also lose uh, one half derivatives. So in the, for the in the both system, we lose only one half derivatives. Rather than, one, rather than one other directives. So that's why, so this is the higher, of course it's the higher order directives. That means this is some kind of uh, K plus K plus one, but not, not exactly K plus one. This maybe is K plus one half. So that, that's why we have introduced the the, fact, the extra factor before K before the air to norms of the X K C. So this, so once, once you use this norm, you can perform the energy estimate for, the, for this one. Just uh, take the take the directives and uh, then take the take the you know product with this factor. This this term is just a simple uh, simple calculation. You, you can we are or all this this kind of relatives. So this is all, of course this also gives some k plus one terms. The idea is same. Read uh, shrink the radius to overcome the loss of directives. Okay, this is the model. Of course, we can re, uh, maybe we can uh, generalize uh, more, uh, more, uh, more, more general case. That means we replace the this dt square by the uh, this square, this uh, by the linear primary operator, the square. So uh, since we only take the energy as is because here we just take energy estimate just. Uh, so there is no addition difficulty for the convection term because during free, so this term disappears, and the diffusion terms uh, give some positive, uh, good sign, positive sign on the left side. So it's no, no additional difficulty. Just the DT square by this operator. The right term is some, so we lose all other directives of this one. Okay. Uh, let's come back to uh, our problems. So uh, this is consideration. This is a uh, auxiliary function, and uh, this is a. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, we have I, can, I have uh, I have a good estimate for lambda. So we want to derive the estimate on dxu. So once we have have an estimate on u, this everything is fine. So let's look at the. Uh, the function h. So this is uh, the function of uh, the integral of u, capital U. So if after that we take the, perform the uh, dy directives on both sides. So let me uh, take dy on both sides. So what's this? This, this becomes u, the capital U. And uh, there's the, so there's the dx, uh, uh, maybe this becomes becomes the dx, sorry, sorry this, is the, uh, this is the way, uh, sorry, this is the sec for the second, for two dimension case, this is the way, not uh, w, dx way. So take, if you take away, this, this term is dx square u, dx square u. But uh, if you take it, uh, uh, if the normal directives is taken on u, so have some, also have the dy u, dx of uh, this uh, integral, so, it, this, so we this just equal the definition of this one, dx square u and this dx u. So I take the, take the, uh, the common directives of dx, this lambda. So of course this, this is just as uh, the mark the, the capital U here was the first order of the first order of u. 
So this is the second order of u, since lambda is the first order. So this is the second order of u. So also in this, for this equation also lose some, some um, uh, tangential derivatives because this is the uh, present of these terms. But, um, but luckily we have the evolution equation for lambda. For, our, for this equation, we don't lose any derivatives of, for lambda. So, so we take the, just take the, direct, uh, take the derivative of dx on this equation. So uh, you see, for this equation, uh, we don't have those uh, any, uh, all, we don't lose any, any derivatives. That means that the, the source term is the second order of the derivatives. So we can just com by combining the two equations, we have the, this, this model, this is a linear Prandtl equation, the square, the capital U, and the source term is at the most two second order. So the first, this uh, capital U is the first order, this is, a second, this is the second order. That means that we lose one order derivatives. But here on the left side, we have a square of the Prandtl operator. This is just the model, it's just this model for the ACQ theory. That's why we can perform an estimate in GVD space with the GVD index for two. So, uh, so this is, uh, uh, in summary, we have the following a priori estimate. So we have introduced the similar, similar as this model. Similar to this model, we have introduced some auxiliary function. This is the C, something like C. So, So lambda here, lambda is something kind of like some DTH and the U is the H. So we have the following, suggests so the defines the following norms. This is the tangential derivatives, DXM. And the, for the uh, capital U, so that means this is some, this, is the, this other is M, M plus one. So this is M minus seven. And this is M, M, M minus six, it's more. More one order, more one order derivatives taken for you. And the, for this one, this is something like uh, corresponding to DTH in the model uh, argument. So there's a, uh, as before, we have the extra factor M before the L2 norms of DX lambda. So you introduce the norms, we can perform an S in like this one. So this is, uh, of course, this is uh, corresponding to the higher order higher order, and this is from the no order. So again, we also have the, this uh, prior error estimate, we can use uh, uh, maybe some, uh, uh, take this uh, limit. Of course, this is a prior estimate. Of course, a lot of uh, regress and mathematical argument to introduce some uh, approximate, uh, approximate uh, no solutions, and then you, you derive the uniform estimate, the net epsilon go to uh, infinity, get the subspace. Uh, so, uh, solution. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Finally, I I, I can uh, I, I explain how to um, how to prove the three dimension case. So a uh, three uh, for three dimension case, we uh, use uh, those directives in two components. It's just uh, we just need to modify modify the argument slightly. For example, uh, this is uh, this W stands for the normal. Uh, component. So uh, similar to uh, the case, we introduce the auxiliary function. This is to cancel the DXW. And similarly, we, we, need, we need a lot of uh, auxiliary function to uh, cancel the uh, DYW. Of, of, of course here, uh, XY stands for the transition variable. So, so again, we, we combine this equation we can get the, this is for just to derive the estimate for dx. And this, this term is used to derive the estimate for dy. And then also we can get the, uh, the, the uh, auxiliary function just uh, by, con, by con performing the cancellation. And it's lambda is dxu minus dzu, uh, so integral. And the number theta is that stand for the tangential uh, the second tangential uh, direct uh, variable dy. And then I find of course this is the first uh, first first flow, and of course the 
a scenic shading, we can introduce the signal um, uh, flow with dx wave and dy wave. So then you will use a similar, just replace the definition by the scalar function by the vector. It's the u, u and u theta, the lambda and maybe the lambda delta and the lambda delta, the theta lambda, then theta, theta delta. So you can perform the argument for the two dimension case. You can get the uh, same uh, a priori estimate like this one. Then finally you can get the uh, constructed solutions of the uh, three, uh, uh, three dimension problem equation. So I, I stop here. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Okay, thank you very much for the, your lecture. And uh, so it's on time. And uh, are there any questions from the audience? Uh, any questions or comments from the audience? May I ask a question? Okay, okay Ben, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, is it of any importance uh, what are the properties of the domain for the Navier-Stokes equation, regularity of the boundary, anything? Because it somewhat uh, disappeared, it disappears from the problem. Um, pardon? Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, is it of any importance what are the properties of the boundary in the original domain of the Navier-Stokes equation? Uh, so here, uh, just uh, consider a spe uh, specific case, this is half space. Of course, uh, you can consider a modular uh, case. Uh, ah, okay, okay, thank you. This mm -hmm. is half space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, uh, I forgot, sorry. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, ben, I think uh, right now is only a local uh, local theorem. I mean, the, the time is uh, still short also. So in that case, if the boundary is smooth, so the result probably is not very far from the flat half space. Yes, half. yes. So you need smoothness yeah. of the boundary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. We, if, the, if you have a global theorem, then, then, then that might be different if you have a curved boundary, you know, the, the, the sense, yeah. But right now, it's only a local in time theorem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me follow up with Ben's question. Uh, so do is that possible? You have in some cases to get a global theorem in the in the Jewelry class. Uh, for three dimension, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, maybe I for uh, for MHG is possible, I guess, for three dimension. Yeah, but then you have uh, the additional the magnetic field effects. Yeah, yeah. But right now, no, 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 no. Uh, no we lost without, without, without any structure assumption. Yeah, but in the Jeffrey class, it seems you don't, because you don't use any structure condition. And also, uh, you know, in the, in, in, the, in the case of three-dimensional parental equation, there's the problem with the so-called secondary flaw. But in your case, you won't say it, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't see the secondary flaw. Uh, because a third flow, third flow is uh, this is a third flow. This is just a no 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 terms. Right uh -huh. uh. So 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 the what, what's the reason you know because the secondary flow is is a is a phenomena in three dimensional right? Uh, uh -huh. You could cause instability of those things, but why? Why you don't see uh, this in your in your in your framework? Because the jewelry class, or because of what? Uh, I think it's uh, you, you mean the second uh, the second flow, but the second flow. Yes, it's secondary flow, secondary flow. Yeah. Yes, I, I think I use some. Uh, it's, it's just because of the jewelry class. Uh, here, you can use some. You see, there's some symmetry for the uh, for the auxiliary function. You see, can be treated in the the same way for second flow, you see. Ah, okay. Exactly the same. Okay. Mm 
Okay, so there's no difference between 3D or 2D. In, in yeah, your... yeah, yeah, yes, yes. In this case, no difference, it's internal difference. Mm -hmm. So, so suppose you start the time is a, uh, is a maximum time. Can, mm -hmm. can, you, can you give a description what is the max, uh, what's happening in the maximum time? I don't know, I don't know this, I don't know this one. <laughs> <laughs> because I use some, some uh, ACK theory. This is, I don't any, can you, uh, you don't give, yeah, uh, give you any information after that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other question or comments? From the audience, okay. If not, let's thank uh, VC again okay, for a you. very clear, beautiful lecture. And uh, Ben, we are moving to the tea room, right? Uh, yes, I, I I hope everyone received uh, information about the coffee break, and uh, we can meet there in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. So thank okay. you, Vichy. Thank, yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you very much okay. for listening. So I will okay. close That's all today. Yeah. So I will close the meeting. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. Thanks for the talk. Bye. <laughs> okay. okay, sir. Bye bye.